an on-set accident that nearly caused Gu Hee Sun her life, an accident that changed Lee Min Ho's career. Some of the most popular K-drama actors are still lucky to be alive. Buckle up, cause we're about to delve into the lives of some of Korea's hottest stars who narrowly escaped death. If you are no stranger to Netflix's emotional wreck of a movie, Miracle in Cell Number 7, then you'd know who Park Shin Hee is. What you don't know is that her life itself is a miracle. A happy one for sure. In 2011, our heartstring was involved in a life-threatening car accident with her manager at the wheel when he jammed the car into a roadside guardrail. Now, we don't know about you, but if we are in a car with someone who doesn't notice a guardrail, we are definitely hitting the brakes and getting out of there. But not Park Shin Hee. She was a trooper and toughed it out with her staff. Turns out the accident was way more serious than the lead in heartstrings. During an episode of SBS's Strong Heart, Park Shin Hee opened up about the harrowing experience she went through while filming for the drama Heartstrings. The car had lost all four of its wheels and even the passenger seat was gone. Park Shin Hee was in the passenger seat with her legs up when the accident occurred, and as one would expect, the glove box came flying towards her, putting immense pressure on her knees. And that's not all. The seatbelt rubbed against her neck and face and even cut her ear. She had to get 12 stitches and the scar is barely noticeable now, only thanks to the work of a skilled resident. Despite the pain she was in, Park Shin Hee continued to film for the drama, even taking off the band that was supposed to help her skin heal faster. Talk about professionalism. But unfortunately, her injuries made it impossible to film one of the episodes on time, leaving her devastated. But through it all, Park Shin Hee soldiered on, determined to bring her best to the screen. Dodge death once, you're lucky. Dodge death twice, you have God in your back pocket. Lee Min Ho almost became a tragic tale, not once, but twice. And we're not talking about his on screen drama. Let's rewind to 2006, when Lee Min Ho was still an up and coming actor. He was traveling with his friend and fellow actor, Jung Il Woo when their car collided with another vehicle. The impact was so severe that it killed two people on the spot, while Lee and Jung were left fighting for their lives. After that, Lee was in a coma for a month, and when he woke up, he had to deal with a torn knee cartilage, broken ribs, ankle, and thigh. Talk about a rough ride. But wait, there's still more. Fast forward to 2011, and Lee was involved in another car accident. This time around, it was just sheer luck that he managed to escape with minor injuries. As a true responsible civilian, Lee credited his survival to wearing a seatbelt and the presence of airbags in the car. Traffic safety rules do save your life. Well, we can agree that if Lee Min-ho had not survived those accidents, the world would have been a different place. We would have missed out on his gorgeous face, charming smile and his on-screen talent that has captured hearts all over the world. It's no wonder he's such a popular actor, he's a real-life hero. Keep your kimchi's hot and coming, K-drama addicts, because we've got a scoop on the iconic drama Boys Over Flowers. On an episode of NBC's Point of Omniscient Interfere, Gu Hee Sun, the lead lady of the show, revealed some behind-the-scenes drama that will leave you, fair and square, just shook it. According to Gohee Sun's current agency CEO, the casting for Boys Over Flowers was a battlefield. Every single actress in Korea vying for a role in the hit drama. And trust us, we're talking about some serious competition, like Blackpink vs BDS kind of stuff. But despite all that, Gohee Sun snagged the leading lady role. Unfortunately, it wasn't all sunshine and rainbows from there. She spilled the tea on the intense physical toll of filming, from enduring being pelted with flour and eggs to almost dying after suffering a concussion during one of the pool scenes. We're talking about Kim Jong-un level intensity here, people. Gu fell backwards into the pool while filming, but she played it off during that time. Turns out, it was such a severe concussion that she fainted afterwards and got into a car accident because of it. Fortunately, Lee Min-ho came to her rescue on time, but she suffered with a very bad split lip. We won't say it's a good thing that she came out on top, but if we're being honest, we couldn't imagine anyone else in marriage lyrics. This drama is, and always will be, a true K-drama classic. During a recent episode of V-Live's Actor and Chatter, the handsome heartthrob Jung Hae-in shared a tale that'll make you feel like you're on a roller coaster of emotions. Yes, exactly like he made us feel in While You Were Sleeping. 
Well, in the episode, he spilled the beans on how he almost kicked the bucket during a heavy downpour while driving from Daejeon to Seoul. We are talking about a seriously close call here, and it gets even crazier. As he tried to steer his car off the highway, he saw some big old vehicles coming up behind him in his rearview mirror. Yikes, it's like something out of a K-drama thriller. Luckily for him, he believes it was his deported grandfather who came to his rescue. Hayden's grandpa was always cheering him on to make it big in the acting world, but sadly, he passed away before he could see his grandson's success. Hayden wished he could have seen him on TV, but if we're being honest, we have a feeling he's watching over him from above, beaming with pride. Remember one of the accidents that Lee Minho was in? Had Jang Il-woo as well? Well, that accident was much scarier for Jang Il-woo. The two best friends were just enjoying a leisurely drive to Gangwon province when a car, which was being chased by the police after a hit and run, crashed into them head on, resulting in a tragedy that shook their world. It's a story straight out of a K-drama. Two best friends, Jung Il-woo and Lee Min-ho, set out for a fun-filled getaway in the picturesque Gongwon province, only to have their world come crashing down quite literally. A hit-and-run driver, hurtling towards them from the opposite lane, smashed into their car, leaving both the actors with life-threatening injuries. Jung Il-woo, known for his swoon-worthy performances in hits like Cinderella and the Four Nights, suffered a concussion, partial memory loss, and a crushed wrist and pelvis bone. The heartthrob was forced to spend a grueling four months in the hospital, battling excruciating pain and trying to regain his strength. But in a twisted twist of fate, the horrific car accident turned out to be a blessing in disguise for their acting careers. Jung Il-woo had already signed up for the hit show High Kick and wasn't able to let a little thing like a life-threatening accident get in the way of his dreams. He soldiered on despite the physical toll it took on him and delivered a stellar performance that cemented his place in the hearts of fans worldwide. Sadly, the aftermath of the accident still haunts both actors to this day. Jung Il-woo's pelvis bone continues to give him trouble, a grim reminder of that fateful day when his life hung in the balance. Only a true warrior can survive a totaled crash. On the fateful day of July 29, 2021, Yoo Seung-ho had an unfortunate encounter while en route to the set of the sensational drama Warrior Baek dong Soo. Due to the torrential showers in Korea, the roads were slippery, causing a disastrous accident. The aftermath? Vehicle was totally wrecked, and to make matters worse, Yu sustained severe injuries, including a skull fracture and damage around his eyes. Yikes! Emergency services immediately transported him to a nearby hospital, and later, he was transferred to Seoul for further medical attention. Fairly enough, K-drama enthusiasts worldwide were gutted. Yu's performances have been nothing short of phenomenal in the recent years, with many praising his acting skills. Some have even compared him to the legendary Lee Min-ho. If you know any other Korean actors who almost died, don't forget to let us know in the comments below.